Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. This Friday morning, amen. It's not Friday the 13th, it's Friday the 12th. And so 12 is the number of government, amen. And this is what this prayer platform is about. We're trusting God for his governance in our nation. We're trusting God for his governance in Israel, in the Ukraine, amen. His governance in the um, the church, his governance financially, amen. It's number 12 today. So we focus on governance. Why don't you just share this broadcast um, with your friends. Just um, share it as I'm doing now. Thank you, Lord, that it's the um, end of the week. Amen. Welcome, Michael, Ethel, Hillary, Jeffrey. Yes, we need new governance in our nation. Amen. We need even governance in our own lives. Amen. And as we... Um, encounter the change of the seasons as we move into the season where it's going to be a new year for Israel, Feast of Tabernacles, we look at governance. So welcome Sonette, welcome Verena, and welcome Mogi Nadu. Amen. And as we bless God's people, he blesses us. Amen. And welcome Ananda, thank you for coming on. Yes, God is a good God, so will not you just share this with your friends and your family um as i'm just doing quickly so welcome deirdre margaret welcome molly combring thank you for coming on and praying with us this morning jackie human dimakatsu welcome 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 we praise god for this friday amen as we conclude this week amen for many of us tomorrow will be um uh, the, well, this evening is the start of our weekend. Tomorrow, a nice break. And Sunday, we go to the house of the Lord. Good morning, Heather. Welcome, welcome, Heather. Just bless you today. Amen. Yes, e Elna Stoddard, Brenda Lee Brits, Pearl Joy, Linda van Deventer. Yes, we are the gatekeepers of South Africa. That's what you, how you must see yourself. Amen. Trusting God to increase your flow and your anointing. George Missing from Swellendam. Welcome, George. We haven't seen you. Sharifa McPherson. Yes, welcome from Johannesburg. Yes, just welcome, Sharifa. Um, Minardi Pretorius. Yes, thank you for coming on. Why don't you just get your communion elements? Amen. We'll have communion at the end of this broadcast. We just thank God. We can cover ourselves with the blood, our nation with the blood, um, and Israel, all that we've prayed for this week. Lynn Church, good morning. Lorna, good morning. We praise God. Amen. And um, we are the gatekeepers, the ecclesia, the family of God. As we stand together on this broadcast, amen, as we facilitate the kingdom of God in our nation, you know, things are changing despite the darkness Things are changing, and we have to have eyes to see and ears to hear. Amen. Colette Janssen, Gilbert Hickman, Ina, Sandra Pretorius. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And so I pray that the Spirit of the Lord would just open your eyes this morning. Despite all the chaos, remember that God moved upon the um, waters in the in great darkness. Amen. And He brought. Um, order out of chaos. So good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Betsy, Lorraine, Santos, Susan, Ruiz. Good morning, Laratu. Thank you so much for coming on, for um, availing yourselves. Let us know, Susan, where you come from. Ma Marianne Goetz are from Cape Town. Yes, we just say thank you. We want every town and city represented here this morning to be covered by his blood. Amen. Lord, we just say thank you. I thank you for each one this morning, Lord. Father, I say thank you. But don't forget to get your communion elements, amen, as we partake of the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus at the end of this broadcast. Yes, we cover ourselves. We cover our nation with his blood. Good morning, Henny Mollo. Welcome, welcome. So good to have you with us. Let us know where you come from, Henny. Yes, we... 
seeking that every town be covered by the blood. Amen. We want every um, government, every um, municipality, amen, because that's the governing authorities of the city to be covered by the blood this morning. Shirley Kruger, welcome. Bukawela Gogela, blessed um, from Zanin, from Onras River Hermanus. Amen. Thank you. From Stellenbosch. Yes, Stellenbosch is really um, there's a mini revival there. I was looking at something this uh, yesterday um, in terms of prayer for the youth, prayer week for the youth. Yes, God is doing something supernatural. Well, we trust God for Onrus River Hermanus. Um, bless you. Thank you for coming on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we pray for our beloved Israel this morning, Shalom Lu Luanda from Madi Mali. Yes, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. I thank you for every home represented here today. Amen. Lord, as we press in, as we press in. Good morning, dear Lindy. Welcome, 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 Lindy. Um, John T. Emmanuel from Mossel Bay. Praise God. Thank you for coming on, John T. Yes, it's another day of victory for us all. Amen. Jeanette, Edgar, thank you for coming on. Yes, just bless you, ladies. Bless you, gentlemen, this morning as we can pray for Israel, as we can pray for South Africa, for Ukraine. Amen. Yes, we have a lot to give thanks for. Amen. Lord, we want to say thank you. We want to give thanks at the end of this week as we conclude, Lord, our prayers for this week. We say thank you for this platform, Lord. I say thank you, Lord, for Rosh and Nadu. Amen. From Tonga. Yes, and we want to speak order. We want, excuse me, loose order into the water affairs of Tonga. Amen. Although we're not praying for that today, we decree order over that, the water affairs, and we decree that this new lady and um, this new premier of Kozulu Natal, amen, that God will give her a heart for good governance. Maria Handy, welcome Maria, Michelle Poppenfuss, thank you for coming on. Yes, 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 we just say thank you for Moggy Nadu, we just bless you, Lord, we bless you, bless you, bless you for all these faithful, wonderful people today, Lord. Lord, I thank you that as we um, start and as we begin to pray for Israel, Lord, thank you that as we enter in um, on this broadcast today, Lord, Father, I say thank you for shifting, for bringing a shift, amen, God is going to bring a shift with some of your circumstances, just expect that shift, I'm hearing the word shift, I'm hearing the word shift, Renelle, welcome, Renelle, Leanne Sinclair, amen, Caroline, um, I'm hearing the word shift, just, um, um, the word shift, God is going to begin to shift some of your circumstances, amen, we want our circumstances to align with his kingdom, amen, remember that the enemy is under your feet this morning, and although we are living in, in difficult times, we have victory, the enemy is under our feet, and we have authority in the earth, God has placed us here as as men and women who have authority in the earth at this time. Amen. We are not being overcome. We overcome evil with good. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, by the authority, amen, that we have within us. God is shifting your circumstances, amen, is shifting situations around you as we enter in and as we pray for Israel today, amen. Thank you, Lord. Excuse me. So, Lord, thank you. I just want to read something about um, Israel and the war. We really want to just focus today on the situation of the war. Welcome, Nonthlala. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, Alna. So good to have you with us. Okay. So, the Lebanese newspaper. Now, we know that Lebanon is in the north of um, Israel, just on the northern border, reported that there's information about the possibility that Israel will take limited action against Hezbollah before the signing of a maritime border registration agreement so that it does not appear to be giving up. Hezbollah's response will be severe in terms of the number of rockets that will fall on Israel. 
And so we know that Hezbollah um, and um, Hamas are the two organizations that want to destroy Israel from the northern border. So we're focusing on war today. The second report is that a senior commander in the Iranian Navy says that they managed to thwart an attack on an Iranian vessel in the Red Sea. Due to Israel's increased presence at sea and after a heavy exchange of fire, the attacking ships retreated and disappeared, he told the media in Tehran. And so, in terra, terrain. <laughs> and so just think of this little um, nation, the size of the Kruger Park, that is continuously being threatened by war, continuously being threatened. They um, have just uh, signed an agreement with um, um, the Gaza, with the, um, the um, not the Israelites, the Arabs in the Gaza. Um, um, it was a severe um, Islamic group militant group that started to attack Israel and as I was just thinking about this you know the Lord just um, seemed to um, um, focus on the emotional state of those that live on the borders of these different um, nations um, Gaza the Gaza Strip those that live on the borders of the Gaza Strip those that live on the borders of Egypt those that live on the borders of of Lebanon, okay, and the threat of war that they are continuously under, amen, and you can imagine now, um, your children are at school, you're at school, and suddenly the war, the sirens for war um, start to ring out, and um, everyone has to revert to bomb shelters, and think about the aged, think about those that are in um, wheelchairs, think about those that are in hospitals, think about the emotional trauma, and it's all because of land, it's all because of this designated land that the Lord God set out for himself, and he said that you in the garden, he said you will not eat of the tree of the fruit, okay, fruit of the tree, um, and this I've set for myself, and the same where um, God has separated and he set Israel apart for it himself. Amen. And this is the, the um, land that he will be returning to. This is the land that we will be returning to. Jesus will be returning through um, the East Gate. And so, Lord, we want to just bring Israel before you, Lord. We want to bring the emotional state. We can't cover everyone in Israel today, Lord. Obviously not. But Lord, we bring the emotional state. We bring the psyche of the nation before you, even as they, they have to prepare, Lord, for another war um, from the northern borders of Israel, Lord. Can you imagine you're in the field on the kibbutz and you're doing your, your daily work and suddenly the sirens go off and everyone has to resort to to the bomb shelters and, and in the last many of the last wars some of them have had to stay in the bomb shelters for seven days eight days ten days lord we bring this state before you lord we want to ask you lord father for your protection upon the northern border today lord father we want to ask you for angelic hosts that they would be dispatched, Lord, to the western border, Lord, with Gaza. We want to ask you for the southern border, Lord, which borders Egypt, Lord. Father, we want to ask you, Lord, for even the seas, Father, the North Sea, Father, the Mediterranean Sea, Lord. Lord, you know, Lord, all these um, alignments that Turkey and Russia Lord, you know about the um the 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 bear, Lord, um the the northern bear, Lord, that you say um Lord is about to attack Israel. Father, we're asking you today, we bring this nation before you, Lord. And Father, we can only just commit Israel into your hands, Lord. We can only just stand, Lord, with uh with um our brothers and sisters, Lord. But Father, we're asking you, Lord, for your spirit, Lord, upon them, Lord, that this would be a time of revival, Lord, that even, Lord, um, Father, um, the, with the, um, the IDF, the, the army of Israel, Lord, 
and many of them, um, we see pictures of how they read the Torah. Lord, we're asking you for these servicemen and women, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord, that you would begin to pour out your spirit. You said you would bring the latter and the former rains together, Lord. Father, and this is the beginning. This is some of the rainy season in Israel that we are moving into, Lord. And Father, we're asking you for the rains of revival. We're asking you for the reign of your spirit, Lord, that you would begin to open the eyes, Lord, of the IDF, Lord, that you would begin to open the eyes of, of the rabbis, Lord, that, Father, that you would begin to open the eyes of the Jewish people, that they would know that their Messiah is near, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for the way that you have protected, Lord, and um, this nation, Father, the way that you have brought it through so many, many difficult things, Lord, difficult times. And, and Father, even as we have witnessed, Lord, how many of the great um, um, corporate companies, Lord, in the world are moving their headquarters to Israel because of the blessing on this nation, Lord. Father, we say thank you today that every curse of war will be turned into a blessing, Lord. Father, we're asking you for a stirring. We're asking you for the heart of the Jewish people, Lord. Father, these spirits of religion, these terrible strongholds of religion, Lord, that they would come down, Lord, and Father, that you would visit your people anew, Lord, even as you brought them through the Red Sea with miracles, Lord, as you took them through the Jordan, Lord, as you proved yourself to um, um, Moses in the fire, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord, we're asking you, Lord, that you would come and that you would bring peace, Lord, that you would bring peace in their souls, that you would bring peace in their minds, Father, that you would bring peace in this nation, Lord. We pray for peace, Lord, Father, that every curse of war would be turned into a blessing. Almighty God, we ask you for your grace upon Israel today, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We want to pray even for the Christians, Lord, and for those in these um, nations that would attack Israel, Lord. Father, Lord, these jihadists, these Islamic jihadists, Lord, that um, have brought war in this last week against Israel. God, we bring them before you, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord. Lord, your word says that Jesus was given for every nation, for every tribe, Lord, for every land, Lord. Father, we're asking you today, Lord, that you would somehow bring um, a visitation of your spirit, that you would turn water into wine, Lord. Father, that, Lord, the wine of your spirit would be poured out, Lord. Lord, we want to bring um, Jerusalem before you, even as we pray for Jerusalem today, Lord. Lord, let there be a heightened sense of your presence over Jerusalem. Lord, even as the nation begins to prepare for the Feast of Tabernacles in a month's time, Lord, Lord, we're asking you, Lord, Father, as, as the escalation of war continues, Lord, and the threat of this war continues, we're asking you, Lord, for a move of your spirit, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord, for the heart and the soul of this nation, Lord. Father, that this nation, Lord, would be so moved and be turned to you. We're asking you, Lord, for a healing, for an emotional healing, Lord, for an emotional deliverance, for the psyche of the nation this morning. We pray, Lord, for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord, Lord, that your spirit would come down. We, we lift the wailing wall to you today, Lord, that you would begin to to uh, uh, make yourself known that there would be appearances of angels at the and angelic hosts at the wall, Lord, that there would be appearances, Lord, of angelic hosts to those that are worshiping at the wall, Lord, Solomon's temple, the wall of Solomon's temple. We say thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, this deception, that's right, this deception, Lord, that stands the spirit of religion, these ancient strongholds, Lord. Father, we want to petition um, you um, against them this morning, that you would come, Lord, and that you would move, Lord, that you would move. We want to pray for the youth of Israel, Lord. We want to pray for the psyche of Israel, Lord, for the 
sake of the youth, Lord, for the sake, Lord, of the the um the defense force, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. You we know, Lord, for, that you are protecting Israel by your divine hand. We know that it's supernatural. And Lord, I thank you today. I thank you, Lord, that you would bring a healing, Lord, that you would bring a deliverance, Lord, that Messiah himself would begin to appear in Israel today. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you. We lift up the economy. We lift up tourism before you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, that you are preserving this nation, that you are preserving the borders of this nation, that you are preserving young and old lord lord we say thank you lord we bring the youth of the defense force before you lord father thank you that you show your hands strong on their behalf lord oh father we say thank you lord oh rabbi shekiana yeshua hamasiach messiah today lord you are messiah you are our messiah lord father we say thank you you are our deliverer you are israel's deliverer today lord i say thank you for each one lord um come and remove the veil lord remove the veil before their eyes lord Father, that each one would be able to see their true Messiah. That's right, the spirit of religion, the stronghold of religion, Lord, over this nation, Lord. Remove the veil. Open the eyes of their understanding today. Lord, we want to pray for the leadership of Israel as they begin to prepare for elections once again. Lord, we bring forth those. We call forth, Lord, your leaders over this nation. Lord, we're asking you, Lord, we're asking you, Lord, Father, that if Netanyahu needs to return, Father, we're asking you, Lord, that it would be him. But we're asking you for leadership, Lord, that understand, Father, world events, Lord, leadership that are um, uncompromising. Father, show yourself strong in leadership that are uncompromising, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you for uncompromising leadership. Father, we say thank you for protecting this nation. Lord, we say thank you for a healing, Lord. A healing, Lord. A healing, Father. Lord, bring forth such a healing over this nation. A healing in their identities. You can imagine this nation that um, God has sovereignly um, dedicated this land for himself and stewarded this land um, and put it in the hands of his people. And yet they are being inflicted and they're being attacked from the north, the south, the east and the west. The existence, the existence of this country, this nation is continuously under attack. Can you imagine the level of faith that these men and women are having having to stand with, amen? The level of faith that they are having to display and to believe the Torah, amen, and to believe um, 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 God himself, although they say Messiah is still to come. Lord, we're asking you, Lord, we're asking you, Lord. Father, it would be so much easier for them if they knew Messiah We're asking you, Lord, that you would unveil yourself, Lord. Unveil yourself. We say thank you, Lord, for leadership that have no compromise, Lord. Leaders in the kingdom, Lord. Father, we say thank you for personal encounters. Yes, Lord. Personal encounters, miracles, Lord. Lord, we're asking you, Lord. We say thank you. El Shaddai, Lord. El Elohim. Elion. Elohim, Lord. Adonai. Yes, Lord. We call forth the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to visit this nation, Lord. Father, in this trauma, Lord. Father, even in this their distress, come down and visit them, Lord. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would remind them, Lord, of the miracles that took place at the Red Sea, the miracles that took place at the Jordan, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shiki and Rabbi San. Lord, we say thank you even this week, Lord. Lord, for the gesture, Lord, that Israel has displayed to the Muslims in allowing them to come in and find work, giving them 
Lord, even pensions, Lord. Father, we say thank you, giving them medical um, um, uh, opportunities, Lord, and medical supplies. Lord, we say thank you for this. Lord, this is the goodness of God. This is your goodness. Father, we're asking you, Lord, strengthen your people, Lord. Lord, oh, we're asking you. Father, we're asking you for encounters, Lord, for the Muslim world, Lord. We're asking you for encounters, Lord. We say thank you this morning, Lord. Lord, we're asking you today for Africa, Lord. Father, we're asking you for African nations, Father. We're asking you this morning for African nations to be aligned to Israel, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for this split in the African Union that is taking place, Lord. Father, that you would begin to promote um, nations that are aligned with Israel. Lord, I pray, let there come such a stirring. Father, we are asking you for Africa this morning, that you would cut off the, the, um, the advancement of the bear, the Russian bear over Africa today, that you would cut off the advancement of the Russian bear, Lord, that the plans of the Russian bear, Lord, would not materialize. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, we say thank you, Lord, that you will deliver Africa, Lord. You will deliver African nations. Father, you will deliver South Africa today. We say thank you, Lord. Father, we call for new alignments for Africa, Lord. We call for the healing, Lord, between Africa and Israel today. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we even want to lift up some projects for um, um, uh, various cities in our nation, Lord, um, projects and alignments with Israel, Lord, that are in the planning. Lord, we're asking you this morning for your protection upon these projects, Lord. We're asking you, Lord, for your advancement, Lord. Lord, we want to stand this morning for South Africa, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, that the plans and the purposes of the enemy will be brought to nothing. Lord, concerning Israel and South Africa, concerning Islam and South Africa, that the plans of the enemy to thwart, um, Lord, our plans and our alignment with Israel, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We stand against the gates of Islam this morning, Lord. And Lord, even as we enter, and Lord, we bring forth, Lord, um, South Africa's alignment with, with Islam, Lord. Father, we want to petition you this morning at um, the very courts of heaven, Lord. We want to petition you, Lord, for the gate of economy, Lord. We want to petition you, Lord, for the gates of governance in South Africa, for her alignment, Lord, with Islam and Islamic nations, Lord. Father, you know the curse that this is bringing upon South Africa, Lord. We sit here, Lord, under the fruit of this curse, Lord. We sit here under the fruit of of possible, Lord, jihadist activity in our nation. Father, we stand this morning, Lord, and we want to prophesy to these gates, and we say that there will be no alignment. We say that this alignment is coming down. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, Father, that you are removing, Lord, our leaders, Lord. Father, we bring now Lady Pandor before you, Lord. Lord, Father, we say thank you, Lord, that, Lord, you are going to begin to cut short Lord, her assignment, Lord, in government. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for our new government, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for Israel-friendly leaders, Lord. Father, we say thank you for men of courage, women of courage, Lord, men of no compromise, women of no compromise. And we prophesy even to the gates today, and we say to the economic gate, we say to the gate of government, you give up an I decree against you that every alignment with the Islamic world. Yes, we say thank you, Lord, those alignments, Lord, are being destroyed, Lord. Father, we speak to the land of South Africa, and we say that it does not belong to Islam. The gate of government does not belong to Islam. We speak to this Al Jamaa party in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we say to you today that you do not belong in South Africa. We prophesy against your um, advancement 
this morning, we prophesy against your advancement and we decree deafness, numbness, madness, confusion against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Father, we say thank you that our government is aligned, Lord, to the kingdom of God. Our leaders are aligned to the kingdom of God this morning, Father. We say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you that South Africa is aligned to Israel. We decree it this morning, Lord. We decree new alignments, Lord. We decree new arrangements, Lord. We decree new trade agreements. Lord, we speak and we decree. We ask, Lord, we give a judicial decree, the, decree this morning against the gates of Islam in South Africa and we seal you with the blood of Jesus. We decree that you are coming down. We decree every Islamic advancement in South Africa is coming down in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We want to bless Israel, Lord. We, Father, we're asking you for the Muslims in our nation, Lord, those that you have brought here, that you would give them an encounter with the living God. Father, we're asking you, Lord, for dreams and visions, Lord, that Issa would begin to appear over them, Lord. Father, we lose Psalm 94 over South Africa and Israel today, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, yes, for the fear of God upon South Africa. Open our eyes, the fear of God upon our leadership, Lord. Open the eyes of South Africa, Lord, to the future, Lord. Father, Lord, let the fear of God, let the wisdom, let the spirit of wisdom and understanding fall upon the church today, Lord, in terms of, Lord, her um, responsibility in standing with Israel, her responsibility, Lord, in blessing Israel. Let the fear of God, Lord, fall upon the church this morning. We issue judicial decrees in the realm of the spirit and we decree that the advancement of is Islam um, is falling short. We decree it this morning. We decree the advancement of these, um, these temples, these mosques in the name of Jesus, Lord, even as Islamic um, people go and worship today at 12 o'clock. We decree, Lord, confusion. Let your spirit come. We speak to the gates of Islam, to the worship at 12 o'clock over our nation today. And we decree, we decree your advancement is falling. We decree confusion to those gates. You cannot advance in our nation. We uproot every form of worship in our nation. And we say South Africa is a God-fearing nation. South Africa is a nation aligned to Israel. We decree Lord, for Issa, we're asking for Issa to appear, Lord, even when they begin to worship. Lord, let Issa come forth, Lord, the spirit of knowledge, the fear of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we say thank you that the church's delight will be in the fear of the Lord this morning, Lord, and you will not judge by the sight of your eyes nor decide by the hearing of your ears. We say thank you for South Africa this morning, Lord. We decree, we decree that Islamic worship, we decree Islamic advancement in the gates of governance, in the gates of the economy. We say even today that South Africa is not a friendly environment for economic investment. Yes, Lord, we decree it. We decree it. We decree it. Father, we say thank you that South Africa is not a friendly environment for the bear, for the Russian bear, Lord. We say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you that every Islamic advancement is being vomited up in the name of Jesus. It is being uprooted this morning. We decree it this morning because we are advancing it and we decree in the realm of the spirit that South Africa is a nation that is aligned to Israel. We say thank you, Lord, that you explode, expose Islam to the church for what it is. Lord, we're asking you for intercessors. We decree this morning, Lord, people, Lord, we're asking you for intercessors, Lord. Give them a burden to pray, Lord, for Islam, Lord. Give them a burden to pray against the advancement of Islam in our nation, Lord. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we want to decree, Lord. We want to decree. Lord, oh, Father, open the eyes of the blind this morning. Lord, those that need to hear you, Lord, Father, give um, um, those that, Lord, have a heart and that are looking for Issa, Lord. Father, those, you know those that, Lord, you, you, you know.
know those that you have chosen, Lord. You know in advance you are the Alpha and the Omega, Lord. Give them an encounter with you, Lord. Those that need, Father, those that are open, Lord. Father, we're asking you this morning, give them an encounter. Let such a wave of revival come upon the Islamic um, um, nation, Lord. Let such a wave of revival, such encounters of Almighty God. We say thank you this morning, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shekiander, we commit South Africa. We commit Israel into your hands this morning, Lord. Father, we commit our nation and we decree against the advancement, Lord, of Islamic strongholds, I Islamic economy in our nation, Islamic worship in our nation. Lord, we say thank you. Come, Lord, we decree the voice of Islamic um, uh, uh, worship in our nation is muted. It is muted today at 12 o'clock. We uh, lose our angels to mute it, to mute it, to mute it, to mute it in the realm of the Spirit, Lord. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you for an encounter, Lord, an encounter with the living God. Let Yeshua HaMashiach, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, Lord, appear to them, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shekanda, Rabbi Sarabaliander, Rabbi Sando. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shekin. Open the eyes of the church today, Lord. Open the eyes of the church, Lord. Open the eyes of the church. Lord, raise up men and women, Lord, to pray, Lord, to pray against Islam in our nation, to pray for Israel, Lord. Open the eyes of the church this morning lord yes let your voice thunder that's right let the voice of the lord thunder let the voice of the lord thunder we decree lord your voice we decree your voice in the heavenlies lord against islamic advancement in our nation lord open the eyes of the church lord father we say thank you this morning lord oh we say thank you lord oh rabbi shakyanda rabbi thunder encounters of the living god we just say thank Thank you today lord father we say thank you we set south africa apart we decree we say say that south africa is set apart we decree that every islamic advancement in our government is coming to naught that the gates of governance in our nation are we decree protection against islam we decree that south africa is not a nation where um it is uh, um, that the uh, Islamic advancement finds a welcome, finds um, doors open. We seal the gates. We seal the doors to this in the name of Jesus. We will not be um, um, uh, uh, hamstrung and we will not be bound by jihadist movements in our nation. We command you to leave this nation today. We command every jihadist movement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to pack up your bags and leave and we say South Africa does not belong to you we command it we command it today Lord we're asking you to expose Father these movements Lord that are, are bringing weapons into our nation expose 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 we say thank you Lord expose 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 Lord Father we're asking you expose these movements expose these economic strategies um, Lord, expose them, expose them. We're asking you this morning, Lord. Oh, we decree over our cities that there will be a no advancement in the building of these temples, these Islamic temples. We decree it over our cities. We decree that the church is advancing and that land is being given to the church. Land is being given to the church. We decree, Lord, that shuls and, and Jewish houses of worship are advancing, Lord, that the kingdom of God is advancing in our land, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, that Israel is being a blessing to the world. Even today, South Africa is being a blessing to Israel, Lord. Um, Israel is being a blessing to South Africa. We say thank you this morning, Lord. Oh, we want to praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord, as it is in heaven, so it is on earth. And we say, yes, we say that as Islamic advancement in our nation is cut short, because we deliver and we deliver South Africa into your hands, Lord, and we bring it under the lordship of, of the, um, the Lord Jesus Christ. We bring South Africa under the lordship 
of Jesus Christ. We say thank you this morning. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. Oh, we say thank you for your kingdom come. Your will be done in South Africa. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in Ukraine this morning, Lord. Father, we bring forth the nation of Ukraine, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord, for the end to this war, that, Lord, the, uh, the nation would be able to fulfill its destiny and its calling, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord. We say thank you that there will be a turnaround. Lord, we're asking you, Lord, for your divine um, interference, Lord, your divine um, strategies, Lord, that the advancement, Lord, of this war will be curtailed, every strategy to advance this war, Lord. Father, that it would fall short, Lord. Turn the hearts of the Russian bear, Lord. Father, we bring Putin before you, Lord. Lord, even, Lord, you have shown us that his time is short. And we're asking you for his salvation, if that's possible, Lord. Father, Lord, let him have an encounter of the highest kind, Lord. Let him have an encounter with the living God this morning. But, Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for Ukraine, Lord, for her advancement in the earth, Lord. Oh, we decree, Lord, an ebbing away and a receding. Lord, Lord of this war. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We praise you this morning, Lord. We say South Africa is advancing in her um her ties and her economic ties with Israel. We say South Africa is advancing in her agricultural ties with Israel. We say South Africa is advancing, Lord, in her um ties in terms of gas and power with Israel. We south say South Africa is advancing in her technological ties with Israel. We say South Africa is advancing in her security ties with Israel. We say it this morning, Lord. We say it, Lord. We say that, thank you, that you are exposing hidden agendas, Lord. And we say protection over South Africa and protection over Israel today, Lord. Father, we're asking you protect um, Ukraine, Lord. Bring a, a healing, Lord. Bring a healing to her people. Bring a healing, Lord, to um, the Israeli people, Lord. Oh, we say thank you. Jesus, you be lifted up. And even as we take our um, um, our communion elements right now, let's just get our communion elements. If you haven't um, managed to get them, you just go off quickly to get just some water and some bread or tea and bread or um, <laughs> juice and bread. It's even better. But, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Father. Lord, first of all, we want to bring our own household before you. We, Lord, even today, our own homes, our own families, we bring our own bodies before you, body, soul, and spirit this morning, Lord. And, Father, we want to bring the heart of South Africa before you, Lord. Father, we want to bring the heart of Israel before you, Lord. We want to even bring the Islamic nation, Lord, those that need an encounter with you, Lord. Father, we want to bring the heart of the church before you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you as we bring South Africa, Lord, and we submit her under your lordship this morning, under the blood and the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we want to give thanks for every prayer and um, request that has been made before your throne today, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord. Lord, we're asking you for the radicals in South Africa. The radicals, I think, Lord, of this young man who is the EFF leader. I thank you for this Nonthala Lux, Lord, um, who is the leader, who was the leader, Lord, of this vigilante group. Lord, I bring these leaders before you, young men that have no hope, Lord. Lord, I bring them before you. I bring the leadership of South Africa before you, Lord. We bring our church leaders, our own individual church leaders, our pastors before you, Lord, our home cell leaders. We bring our husbands and our wives before you, Lord. Father, we bring um, the Jewish community in South Africa before you this morning, Lord. And Father, even as we take your body right now, Lord, we thank you for the healing of our nation. We thank you for the healing of our bodies, Lord. The healing, Lord, of families on this um, broadcast this morning, Lord. The healing of every personal situation, Lord, that you are delivering many this morning. I speak for deliverance. I speak for the new hope. I speak for the freedom. 
uh, freedom, body, soul, and spirit, those that are struggling emotionally. I speak for healing today. Yes, we say thank you. And Lord, we say thank you today that you are setting us free, body, soul, and spirit. You are bringing a healing in South Africa. You are bringing a racial healing this morning, Lord. You are bringing a healing amongst the tribes, Lord. You are bringing a healing in our psyche. Lord, you are bringing a healing, Lord, to the body of Christ, a healing, Lord, to the Jewish community in South Africa, a healing and a protection over Israel this morning, a healing over the Ukrainian and the Russian people, Lord. Oh, we just say thank you, Lord. Father, let Yeshua HaMashiach appear, Lord, by the blood of the Lamb, Lord, even unto the Muslim community as they worship you today. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, a new order, a new order, Lord, a new order, Father, for South Africa. Lord, even as we take the blood of the Lamb, Lord, we say thank you this morning, Lord, that your word says that we are overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And so, therefore, we subject every prayer request, every statement that has been made, on this platform today, Lord, we submit it under the blood. We bring it under the blood, South Africa under the blood. Every vigilante group under the blood. Every home represented here this morning under the blood. Every marriage under the blood. Every sickness under the blood this morning. The blood speaks. The blood speaks this morning. The blood speaks of healing, reconciliation. The blood speaks of justification. When they saw the blood, the angel of death passed over. Lord, we put South Africa under your blood. We put the economy of South Africa under your blood. The Lord, we put the tribes under your blood, her people under your blood this morning. Lord, we put Islam under the blood, Lord. It has been defeated, the strongholds of Islam. We put our suburbs, our territories under your blood this morning, Lord. Father, because the blood of the Lamb, Lord, we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony this morning. And we say, South Africa, arise, arise into her destiny. Israel, arise into her destiny. Your people, arise, Lord. We say, thank you that the blood speaks, the blood speaks, the blood speaks of better things this morning the blood speaks of healing lord we say thank you this morning the blood speaks of life amen a new life for all and so lord even as we close this broadcast for this week lord we put ourselves under the blood we put this prayer um um community under the blood lord the gate of government under the blood and we say this morning thank you lord that the kingdom of god is advancing and that the blood speaks for each one this morning. The life is in the blood. KwaZulu Natal, you are under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are no longer under Shaka's blood. We decree the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ over KwaZulu Natal this morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Israel under the blood this morning because there's life in the blood and so we just thank you lord as we leave this broadcast we go forth in triumph lord we triumph today because we're under the blood of the lord jesus christ just see yourself today under the canopy of the blood amen the blood has provided all amen the sacrifice has provided all the sacrifice has brought healing it's brought deliverance amen receive that healing and that deliverance today receive your needs being met god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think of because of the covenant we have a covenant we have a covenant israel has a covenant and that's why it'll never be destroyed South Africa was established on a covenant. The church has a covenant. It's about covenant. That's the word of the Lord. It's about covenant today. Amen. So go forth in triumph, dear ones. We just bless you. Amen. I just say thank you so much for being so faithful and standing with us on this prayer um, altar um, for South Africa. And as we go forth and we enjoy um, this weekend, let it be restful, let it be peaceful. I speak order. 12 is the number of order and governance. I speak every order into every home as we bring it under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom, shalom, and have a wonderful day. And whatever you put your hand to, may the Lord order your steps today and may he bless you whatever you put your hand to shabbat shalom amen god bless you god bless you god bless you